an animal lover who adopted a disabled rude, says it now rules her home by sleeping in her room, hiding her belongings and becoming jealous of her husband. Helen Matram took the injured bird in after realizing it wasn't able to fly, and wouldn't survive in the wild. The rook is now part of the family, but Helen admits he is needy, and has separation issues, and wants attention all the time. She says the bird steals her phone charger, pens, credit cards from her purse, and jewelry, and also rips up her daily newspaper and pecks pictures off the wall. And the rook, nicknamed Russell Crowe, even starts pecking her husband Tristan if Helen is talking to him and not her pet. Every night Helen shouts bedtime, and the rook hops upstairs to her bedroom where he sleeps. Pet behaviorist Helen, who has built him an aviary in the garden, says the bird has grown in confidence, and now rules the roost at her house. She said, rooks are very needy and they form very strong bonds, so he sees me as one of his own. But they'll only bond with one person at a time, so he does get jealous if I'm trying to watch TV with my husband, he'll give me a nasty peck on my foot or come and sit on my shoulder. Often he'll just stare at my husband until my husband moves away. But, the 34-year-old, from Cheltenham, Gloucestershire, added that Russell Crowe has completely changed my life, and that even her husband adores him. As long as I'm not in the house, he'll quite happily go and sit on Tristan and eat out of his hand, for instance, she said. Helen first came across the abandoned rook outside the Prezo restaurant in Montpellier in Cheltenham, a year ago, and soon realized it could not fly. I looked around for his parents but he was all alone, so I took him to a rescue center nearby, she said. Hess not like normal rooks, he was born with crooked feet, which meant he isn't able to fly. Hess also had poor growth, and has lost a lot of feathers. Helen, who runs her own pet behaviorist business, said she realized Russell's disabilities meant the rescue center would not be able to keep him in the long term. Having first begun rearing, and releasing birds at the age of just eight years old, Helen knew she had to bring the rook home with her, and raise him from inside her house. But she said that it was not easy at first, because Russell Crowe suffered badly from separation anxiety. When he first came to live with us, I couldn't even leave the house without him crowing loudly, she said. We had to build it up gradually, and he can now spend about five hours on his own quite happily, although I do still have to pop home during the day to check on him. And she said that the aviary, which she and husband Tristan, 31, bought about six months ago, has helped the rooks settle down, despite costing over 1,000 pounds. It's a huge commitment, including all maintenance costs the aviary came to nearly 2,000 pounds, and I'm up at 4 a.m. most mornings cleaning it, which can take up to an hour, she said. But she added that as a result of the aviary, the family now have two more rooks that live in their garden full-time, named George and Cheryl. They're both very tame, they came from rescue centers in Suffolk and Warwick, but we're hoping that eventually we'll be able to release them, she said. They can be quite noisy, because they're still young, but so far the neighbors seem to be okay about it. And although her husband initially called her crazy, the couple are no strangers to raising animals, as well as the three rooks, they also own two ferrets, a dego and a cat.